from John's Gospel, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages wouldn't buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. Well, thank you, Jenny. That's, uh, I guess, one of the better known stories in the Gospels, and interesting, it's one that's found in all four Gospels, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. I was struck again by the, the lovely details you get there, you know, there was a, there was a lot of grass. Yeah, yeah, I noticed <laughs> the smile as you read. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking back to when I was um, in Galilee, and you've got my little um, been, loaves and fishes there. Yeah. 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 Um, I always think the little, ro the little breads are like hot cross buns. Yeah. But, not allowed to have hot cross buns in New Zealand. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But Easter buns. Okay. Easter buns. But just a reminder, I mean, just those little things, you know, just how sort of, um, yeah, there's something small that that little boy offered, and which we would have probably disregarded, yeah, yeah. and yet Jesus was able to use that. Yeah. It's become such an important passage, hasn't it? This whole story, the feeding of the 5,000, and, and it's overlaid with all sorts of different mm -hmm. connotations and meanings. Um, and one of them, actually, we, we're not going to tease out this mm -hmm. time, but we might do it in, in next week when we look at a little bit more of John's Gospel, which is to do with the Passover mm -hmm. and the whole mm -hmm. desert thing. But. Um, I wonder, actually, if we shouldn't start, Jenny, with one of these other pictures that you've mm -hmm. got here, this one. Mm -hmm. Let me get it. Because this brings it very... I like this. This, uh, You'll remember, last year, we started a campaign, or became part of a campaign, called the Back to Church Sunday. Mm -hmm. And this was the picture that they used. Mm -hmm. And it took me ages to realize that what it was is actually the feeding of the 5,000 mm -hmm. in a modern context. Yes. Sitting on grass, eating yep. fish and chips. Yeah, and, and oh, it's a lovely really sort of. I don't think. I don't think it is kiwi actually, as as such. No, but, it's not. Um, but but just the, that idea, which I think is a very sort of um, kiwi sort of, of thing of, of the barbecue or something like that that we're comfortable with, mm -hmm. um, of actually you know sharing and because so often we talk now about not even knowing our neighbours or you know and you can imagine in this sort of context of. And, and this intriguing thing that Jesus almost sort of tests them. What are you, what are you going to do about this situation? You know, Six months' you... wages. Yeah, that's, that's a lot yeah, of money. That's yeah. 200 denarii in the notice. Uh, denarius was yeah. a, a wage for a day. Mm. So, I'm thinking yeah. just of the, you know, being away from the, the townships and almost like, um, what are you going to do? Are you actually going, you know, so easy just to say, well, send them off. Um, you know, it's, this isn't the too hard basket. Let's just send them off. But actually, that sort of tantalising thing of, I, I like the way of, 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 of using a child, someone quite powerless within that society, probably disregarded, probably would have been just sent away. Mm -hmm. The sort of one that the disciples wanted to send away. And actually makes the disciples look a bit better here, because Andrew and Philip actually, they draw in that child. Is there, yeah. you've, you've spent time in Israel, is there any significance in the barley loaves? Mm -hmm. Ah, but apparently, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's very much um, just what the sort of food that the poor would have had. Right. Yeah. Right. 
So, so it's the staple, the staple food. Yeah, uh, basic. Um, not again, wheat, as not, opposed to wheat, which would have been presumably yes, rich. Yes, the higher the sort higher. of level. Okay. Yeah, so it's really sort of saying, um, yeah, Jesus is going right out to the margins and including someone who, yeah, wouldn't have even have been thought about in that society, disregarded. Right. Um, and yet he's yeah. the catalyst. Yeah, and I quite, you know, I like to think, well, actually, the disciples got it right this time. You know, the other change. time they tried to send the children away, oh, but this yeah, time yeah. they actually brought that little boy in, didn't push him away. Which and, is an interesting, yeah. perhaps, perhaps a little bit of talking there too, the, the role of the disciples, which again, mm. it's both, uh, was Philip and mm. Philip and Andrew are both involved here, aren't they? And this, this great big crowd mm. of people. Are they, are they protecting Jesus or are they doing something else? What do you think they're... Yeah, no, I think in this case they actually seem to be um, offering more of what Jesus would do to invite other people in and to include other people in. So, Because I think later on we get um, the same two who are welcoming the Greeks who want to see Jesus. Oh, certainly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and of course this part of the world, Galilee of the Gentiles, you know, you again you've, you've got them reaching out to the fringes and drawing in. Yeah. Which, which I, I rather like that connection that we had with that, that picture earlier, the, the Back to Church Sunday. Yeah. And, and my understanding is that more and more churches are picking this up, yeah. like this idea of setting aside a Sunday, yes. where people who, who have been part of the church and for whatever reason have disappeared, yeah. are invited by the Andrews and the Phillips right. in yeah. the congregation to say, hey, come back. And the challenge to us, perhaps, is, is how do we receive people who are receive. coming back in from the fringes? Do we want to keep all the bread for ourselves? Do we want to keep the picnic for ourselves? Yeah, yeah. Or will we actually open up our fish and chips and, and share them, share yeah, the goodies? Yeah. As yeah. you're talking, I'm thinking about catering core and the horror that they can be. <laughs> yeah. I said, please, Frank, don't, uh, yeah. don't bring any more people to be yeah, fed. Yeah. But that is what it's about. It's about that abundance, isn't it? And sort of thinking in our community at the moment, there's a drive going on for the city mission, and yeah. we're talking about the food banks and yes. things. And you know, people are, are struggling, people are mm. retrenching, and yet it's good to hear there's still that spirit the, of generosity. The generosity yeah. that, that yeah. is there, yeah. and of course, food is is such a major issue in the mm. world, and the, and the mm. way with all to grow food mm. and to distribute food. Mm. Um, I, mean, I, I think I don't know whether it's anecdotal or whether it's fact. But one hears that there actually is enough food in mm. the world. It's a matter of how to get it from the A to B. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and who eats how much food. Uh, mm. Again, I remember reading somewhere that Americans, where meat is the staple product, eat mm. far more grain mm. than they do in Asia, where, where rice yeah. is the staple. Mm. Through their meat, mm. through eating grain-fed uh, um, yeah. animals. And I think that yeah. gather up the fragments left over, you know, so we have been so wasteful, really, as indeed. particularly in the West, yes. and just thinking about, the, you know, the old concept of gleaning, but also leaving a bit, you know, sort of leaving a bit for those, uh, for, the, for the immigrant, the stranger, mm. you know, and maybe we're learning even in our sort of straightened circumstances, that part of that, mm. that sharing and... And, yeah, do you think this is an actual miracle, or do you think wow. what, is, what is the miracle? Here? <laughs> I've, I've got two theories. I think, yeah. I mean, we traditionally we take it Jesus mm. blessed, and and that's wonderful, and suddenly there's all this food around. Mm. But and that's that's one thing, I mean, and, and of course, God as the Creator presumably mm. can do that. Mm. But there's almost a bigger miracle if you think that this little boy, through his generosity in a way shamed mm. all those other people to say, well, actually, we do have a picnic lunch <laughs> yes. attached away here and bring it out and sharing it. Mm. And, and I actually quite like that. Yeah, I, I can live quite comfortably kind of, either way, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, many will say it was a miracle that they actually mm. started sharing with each other and were able to, and that there was more than that. I think that sort of super abundance that comes in. You know, there the was it's not My any cup sort of over. yeah, it's not fr yeah. frugality or not. You know, yeah. it's it's it's, right. it's generous, yeah. uh, not wasteful, but it's generous, yes. and there's there's more to share. Do we need to make just a very quick comment about that last verse 15, mm. where Jesus realised they were about to come and make take him by force to make him mm. king? Yeah. In that, as so often in the Gospels, people don't quite. Yeah. Get who Jesus is. They get carried away with the excitement of all yeah. this, but and, he, and so yeah. he disappears. He withdraws himself yeah, to yeah, the mountain. Yeah. And and withdrew again to the mountain. Yeah, mm. yeah. and just for another time, really. Yeah. yeah. Let's go and have some fish and chips. That sounds good. Why not? <laughs>